Right, now on from temporary workers to a fixture of the tour and a man who's a bit of an institution in his own right. See if you recognise this character being honoured before last week's stage from Pau to Bordeaux. Yes, it's Monsieur Liget picking up his medal for 20 years consecutive service to the tour, something no other British journalist has ever achieved. Now, we don't want to get too self-indulgent on the show, but since this is a unique occasion, we've put together a small package of Phil's greatest hits, misses and changing hairstyles. Kelly waits, he waits, he watches, Anderson's on his wheel, round again, Valley leads, Kelly, followed by Anderson, what a finish, Kelly's going to go now, there's the line, Kelly, Anderson also trying, Kelly on the right, Valley on the left, Anderson also trying, Kelly, come on, Sean, for the last time, Kelly's won the last stage of the Tour de France, what a great result. Well, after that, I'm not too sure who's out of breath most, me or Sean Kelly. Miller can prepare himself now for the salute. The two arms are all we want to see now, and there they are. Miller's won the stage in the Tour de France. The tears, the glimpses, creak up smiles and tears of joy. Well, this really has been a marvellous tour so far, especially for the English-speaking riders in the event. No doubt, of course, in anybody's mind. Not only going to victory now, but this is a Tour de France victory salute. And it's come... Three days before the end of the tour, Vignon now can ride the rest of the stages as laps of honour. Absolutely, John, and really for the first time, Greg Lamont, having finished third last year, is now ready to win the Tour de France and add a little bit more history to this great sporting event. <laughs> You know, every day in the Tour de France is another long day. Everybody gets up early. Pedro Delgado has flipped Stephen Roche on the climb. But remember, at one point he had a minute and a half. And just who is that rider coming up behind? Because that looks like Roche. That looks like Stephen Roche. It's Stephen Roche who's come over the line. He almost caught Pedro Delgado. I don't believe it. Well, the Tour de France goes on today without Martinelli after yesterday's accident. Sean Kelly too, we don't know till we get to the start, whether in fact he will begin. We'll find all this out as the day goes on. Laurent Fidion has lost the Tour de France, a right on the line as he comes over. 55 seconds is countdown, he has lost the Tour de France by 8 seconds. Can you believe that? Donald Fignon has lost the tour and Greg Lamont has won it. On the 118 and a half kilometres, 10th stage from Geneva to Saint-Gervais, where the stage ended near Mont Blanc, Ronan Pensek, who'd ridden in Steve Brown's shadow for over a week, couldn't afford the helicopter, which was shortly to fly overhead. Oh, oh, you put your hand up there for? Just to try and block some of the noise. Block the noise, how Christ, he's blowing us off the floor here. Oh. I'm not seeing anything. What's wrong with the man I didn't raise against? Right, Paul, well, what says it? One man I didn't raise right. against. The Phil says it's well, you raised against me, everybody else did. <laughs> Where's the turn? Well, we'll see you OK, Frank, all the best, mate. Cheerio, John, Jim. What? I have to get him press passes. That'll do. Great stuff, and here's the man himself. Phil, 20 years' worth of memories. Any particular ones that stand out? I think two do, Gary, above all of the rest. The first was in 1975, the first year the Tour de France finished on the Champs-Élysées. There was a French winner, but the man who'd lost the race got as much publicity, Eddie Merckx. He'd won the Tour five times already. Everybody expected him to win it for a sixth. Instead, he crashed and he fractured a bone in his face. And the race doctor said he should leave the Tour. And he said, if I leave this Tour de France, then the man who's beaten me for the first time will not look as great as he really is. From that moment on, I think Eddie Merckx became the most popular rider in the sport. The other one, of course, the Champs-Élysées in 1989, the joy of Greg LeMond, the sadness of Laurent Fignon. Fignon had lost that Tour de France by eight seconds. Those two memories will always stay with me. But now, let's have a look at this Tour de France, which is developing now to be equally as exciting.